This is Gary Lerald, and this is my review of Restaurant to Another World, Episode 2. In this world, we get more stories involving the restaurant. It's almost like the restaurant magic helps the person in some way with its food. The first story involves a girl that is following the footsteps of a famous treasure hunter and finds out that his greatest treasure was fighting, finding the restaurant from another world. Each dish looks amazing, great, like, you just want to be there and eat every dish and it's similar to Food Wars in the same respect, that the food really looks way more excellent than normal food. And if you had the ability, you'd want to cook this stuff. It was nice to see that the chef thought fondly of the old treasure hunter. In the second story, it was interesting as well, because a soldier that is at his castle is being under attack and is sent to ask for more troops to fight off monsters. And he's on his last legs, and mostly it's just about starving to death he finds by accident a portal to the restaurant he's saved by starvation by the chef and what is nice is the food that he missed the most was from his hometown was shrimp and it's just something about home cooking from either your family or something that's made fresh it just energizes you more than just regular food and it did the same for the soldier he can't pay but he leaves his sword in lieu of payment And luckily, since he doesn't know that it shows up only every seven days, he misses his chance every time. The swordsman that we don't directly uh, know his story, but we've seen in the restaurant, shows up at the soldier's castle to to give back his sword. So in the end, now he will be able to pay his tab and get back to eating his favorite food again. So it was a lot more interesting in this episode. I'm getting the sense that we probably will find out more about each of the people that come to his restaurant and maybe they'll introduce other characters. This show has a lot of similarities to another show called Bartender, where there's this bartender that serves these amazing drinks and every person has their story. And at the end of it, when they drink this drink that he makes, it helps them solve their problem. So it's interesting like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing further episodes. At first, I wasn't sure if this was going to be just kind of an average show, but it's looking to be more of a kind of a slice of life, but it's more of a show that you can enjoy when you just want to chill out and just kind of relax. So like always, comment below, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time.